The money came in large and small donations, all of it with Haiti in mind. It was an impressive display of charity from Metro Vancouver's South Asian community. Susanna De Silva has the latest. Since the devastating quake, leaders in the South Asian community say people have opened their hearts and their wallets in an unprecedented way. We're encouraging everybody to become volunteers over the radio and say, you know what, you all become volunteers and if we all become volunteers, the work will be cut down. So I mean, I think everybody took it to heart and everybody's doing their part. So when I become volunteer, I think everybody was volunteering. So far, $1.5 million has been pledged through donations at the Guru Nanak Temple and three South Asian radio stations. It was counting, it's close to 2,000 people came personally to donate money. Uh, some of them was very seniors, they were graveyard security, and they brought their entire day of salaries for a donation. We had a lot of kids brought their uh, piggy banks. The community has no direct ties to Haiti, but organizers say anyone seeing the tragic images felt compelled to help. I mean, if you see a child sitting there by himself with no parents or nobody to go to now, and I mean, these are things that uh, touch every individual everywhere. For us, uh, the Sikhs, the entire humanity is one. So we believe it is our duty to help those people in distress. And that's why people came forward and everything was touching. Small children coming, elders coming. $500,000 of the money raised will be going to the Governor General to pass on directly to the Haitian government. We feel that she's from Haiti. And uh, right now there are so many organizations which are working over there. The government also needs money for reconstruction and other purposes there. The remaining one million will be divided between Doctors Without Borders and an international organization called United Seeks. And the total will likely go up as they'll be accepting donations until the end of the month. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Surrey.